Okay, so welcome to another technology video. So in this one, we have got a um, high-speed NAS drive. So this is a QNAP TS251+. Plus. It's got an Intel Celeron quad-core 2 gigahertz processor and it bursts up to 2.42 gigahertz. Um, it can support up to 8 gig of memory. This particular one comes with 2 gig of memory um, and it supports two drives, um, any size really, um, up to 6 gigabits a second um, and supports HD uh, hard disks and it supports SSD drives as well. Comes with two USB 3 ports and one, uh, sorry, two USB 2 ports as well and it comes with two gigabit LAN interfaces. So what we're going to be doing today is um, we're going to be upgrading the two gig of RAM to four gig and we're going to be using this as a replacement to our um, WD MyBook Live Duo which we've had for probably about eight or nine years um, and it's long overdue for an upgrade so this is going to replace it. Um, so inside the box we get um, our obviously Gumpf warranty cards, we get our screws for hard disk mounting, we get a remote control um, unit for um, if, you're, if you're using it as a media center device, we're not, so that always goes to one side, we've got a collection of them over here, and then we've got our two network cables, and we've got our power brick, so the power brick is, um, let's have a quick look, I'm not sure on the wattage on this one, uh, doesn't actually say our uh, 65 there we go um, watts on the power brick and then also we should have a UK cable which we do so we're going to need those we're going to put these to uh, one side for the moment because we've got to take it apart and upgrade the memory so to do that let's get rid of that Really well packaged, by the way. Um, look at this uh, packaging, difficult to get out of. It's not gonna move around anywhere inside the box, which is great. Very well protected. So the device itself is very, very light without any discs in, obviously. Um, we will be putting the discs in later once we've upgraded the memory. So what we're going to do first of all is we're going to remove the two drive trays. We've got um, two four terab terabyte drives to go in there and then the next thing that we want to do is with your IT toolkit I'm going to take a small Phillips screwdriver and we're going to remove the uh, the side panel. So uh, there's two screws, one at the top, one at the bottom. They both need to come out. And then once we're in there, um, we need to remove the cage that supports the drives to get to the memory. So that's it, put the two screws over there so they don't get lost. And then this side panel should just somehow, it's a bit fiddly, but it pushes back basically. There we go, pushes back and lifts off the side like so. So the, uh, the memory modules, you get one in the front here and the upgraded slot is underneath the back here which is a bit of a pain so what we've got to do is we've got to remove the um, the drive cage and to do that we want to remove one screw on the back here that holds this top bracket in place and then we want to remove the two inner screws of the cage on each side so there's five screws to remove so the first thing we'll do is we'll take out the screw on the back because this whole assembly just unplugs. So that is the, 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 the board at the back of the drives that holds basically the SATA connections for them. And 
and this will this will keep us going for uh, a significant amount of time. The nice thing about these uh, TS units is they've all got external power bricks, so um, if the, uh, the power supply does go, then it's just a matter of replacing the power brick. Okay, so now this whole assembly should lift off, being very careful because you've got the, con um, the connector, the, the riser card that goes into the board here. And the next thing, as you can see here, is on the motherboard itself, um, we've got the processor, we've got, um, um, this is used for um, holding the operating system. And then we've got our ports on the, on the back, we've got our power, USB 2, um, sorry, USB 3, two USB 2, two one gig ports and an HDMI out. So the memory itself is gonna go under here and we wanna make sure that we're using the same type. Um, so this is uh, DDR3 1600. So let's have a look, see if we've got some of that. DDR3 1600, so dim, uh, two gig and another two gig, so 1600, so dim. Actually, I've got two four gig chips at the same memory type, so I can upgrade this. Do we really need eight gig in here just for home? No, so I am gonna put I'm going to take out this memory, DDR3. Uh, so it is the same memory, but um, I can't guarantee it's the same make. Oh, it is the same make. 1600, so dim. So I'm going to put the matched pair in and take out the single unit. Um, that's going to still give us four gig, which is plenty for what we need. So that just slots in and pushes down and locks in place. And the one under the, the back here is a little bit fiddle, more fiddly, so you wanna make sure that uh, you get the memory the right way up. In terms of the back slot, uh, it goes in what I would call upside down, and you wanna slide that underneath, holding the back of it up until the bottom locks into place, slots in, and then just presses down like so. So we've now got, um, Two gig installed at the front, two gig installed in the back slots. That's all there is to it. So the next thing we wanna do is we're gonna pop our drive cage back in. So making sure that uh, there's no rubbish in there and making sure that it's in the correct place. Being careful to press it down like that. And then we wanna get our screws in. like so, and then the cover goes back on. So it goes just over the top there like so. Should, it's got some areas that it clips into. There we go. And then that just pushes forward and locks. And then the two screws again, one top, one bottom. and the one in the bottom. And then tighten it up there, tighten it up there. Okay, so that's the memory upgraded. Now the next thing is to get the drives installed. So we are gonna be using uh, two four terabyte um, WD Red Plus drives. Don't need anything else apart from that. So what you wanna do is the next thing is you're gonna take the screws that were in the box. And we're gonna mount the discs. So you get um, plenty of screws. You get black screws and you get silver screws. 
whichever one is your preference. Um, you've got to make sure that you get the, obviously the drive in the correct way. So that goes in like that, which is correct. And then on the bottom um, should line up with the, there's some, the holes will line up. There should be enough for four screws in each drive. So I'm going to use, I'm going to use silver screws. And it doesn't matter which slot you put them in. There is uh, no rhyme or reason, but I always put the first one in closest to the motherboard and I treat that as uh, drive one. So that's the first one in. Second one, again, exactly the same process. Line the drive cage up with the screw holes and then mount using the screws provided. Okay, and then tighten them up. And then second drive in. That's it in terms of uh, hardware setup. So um, what we've done is we've taken out the two gig of memory, replaced it with four gig of memory, and we've populated the drives. So next thing is we'll run through the startup process.